This is Amber Isaacs and in this week's podcast we are going to steer away from the doom and gloom of COVID-19 and all the lockdown challenges and fantasize about the possibilities of the matric in a perfect world. Your six amazing hosts and hostess, including myself, are going to share our hopes, dreams and further plans of the matric. Would you like to study next year or take a gap year, varsity versus state? Which one do you prefer? These are only a few of the questions we'll be answering this week. So here we go. You're listening to Zakir Bota, a.k.a. Mr. C.W.R. And my thoughts on having a gap year versus my studies directly after my trick would be Doing my studies directly after my trip. Firstly, it's being proactive. I gotta be honest. Having a gap year would just cause unnecessary stress for me personally and unnecessary drama, which will lead to unnecessary acts and unnecessary behavior, which I do not need. And my plans after my trip would be to study at a technical and take my rugby further as well and also sign up to the police force but my main focus is my studies and my rugby so that are my, that's my plans for after matric and also having a uh, part time job well if I pass my ma- if I pass my matric here my part time job would be going to the police force and paying for my studies at a Technicon instead of a university because a Technicon is more affordable and the mark requirements aren't that ridiculous as to the university I want to become an electrical engineer and to, and to pursue my dreams in the electrical field I really have a passion and great strive for electrical so yeah i'm your man mr cwr peace out be safe hi guys jordan here so my thoughts on a gap year is that i feel it's a waste of time not okay it's definitely for everyone though for me personally i feel like it would be a waste of time because you're wasting a whole year where you could have been far already in your studies and you could have been doing well and you know you could have just been doing your studies and doing your things you know and the one step I guess ahead from maybe someone that is taking a gap year although if you do take a gap year you could go travel the world go check out places you know just before you hit the books again and be like okay now it's again time for your studies so also studying directly after school, after matric I feel is a whole benefit, reason being. You get the opportunity, you take it as you can get and you study what you want to do. And also it's with the people you perhaps know as well as it's better that way I feel. Yeah, it's better that way because then your mind is um your mind is for that, for you studying where as in if you took a gap year then Sometimes most people, after they take the gap year, they end up not doing anything after the gap year. They end up not going to varsity again. So, my plans after matric is to study linguistics, which is languages, at the University of Cape Town. And that is just to study the world's various languages and therefore have a doctrine in that language. So, it takes me about four to six years if I'm not mistaken so yes that is my plan so um 
Varsity versus thick. I feel varsity is better for me. A better fit for me. Reason being, I feel that because I can get an easy, uh, not an easy bachelor, but I can get a degree at varsity and um, various companies or various places, countries, etc. Look at your papers and feel that you're better if you had a varsity degree than one of tech. Gap year versus further studies. I don't think there is a definite answer for this in my perspective because there are situations which result in a student taking a gap year. An example would be financial issues. Of course, there are financial aids such as bursaries, scholarships and learnerships, but sometimes the student doesn't qualify. And yes, the student will probably struggle to adjust to varsity the following year or not even go back to school. But I mean, the gap year was necessary for them. Studying further is the most route all students take and personally this is the route I prefer because if I were to take a gap year, I'd probably forget all the schoolwork I've ever done and you know, I just basically want to achieve all my goals. My plans after matric is to hopefully be accepted into a good university, study electrical engineering and just maybe, maybe learn how to drive. For the field that I wish to go to, most people would say a technical college would be the best, but for me, varsity would be the best fit because they focus equally on the theory and practical work. Yo, what's up? While my thoughts on a gap year versus further studies, well, first of all, a gap year is for those who are uncertain, who are, who, when they're in high school, they're uncertain on what they want to do in life. Hope They were hoping to find what they are interested in in high school but they couldn't find it so instead of going to a university and wasting your money on studying something you don't want to study i think you should i think a person must take a gap year to find out what you can learn the benefits of taking a gap year is that you can learn new things that you didn't even know like learn new language learn new skills develop your past skills and make it better find what you're good at so you can turn it into a profession or a business and um, discover new hobbies and the benefit of stu uh, further studies is that you can study what you want to study right outside the gate after you're done with matric and uh, it's an early start and you can get your um, bachelor's, master's and doctor's degree years early instead of years later. My goals for matric, after matric is to buy myself a new car and to move out of my mom's house and to find a university where I can live in and to find something that can make money on the side when I'm in university, you see. So I can have enough money to buy me all those materialistic things that I need to survive. But in all in all, I was not totally certain what my main plan, but uh, what my main plan is after my trick, you see. It's still very uncertain, so I'm mean, still very uncertain. So. My thoughts on varsity versus tech. What is better for me is varsity rather than technical. The uh, technical because the technical focus on practical things, and I'm an academic learner. I thrive through academic. I thrive through theory, and I fail at practical. So I go to university where I'm good at. You see, so I'm more comfortable going to varsity. So those are my thoughts, my plans, and my hopes for the future after the trick. I think a gap year can be both detrimental and useful at the same time, depending on the student. It can be useful to a student who is not certain about what they would like to study and they take this time off to explore their options and different career fields and then go on to choose the best possible option for themselves. And it can be completely detrimental to a student who chooses to take this time off for no good reason as this can allow them to get up to no good at all or as they get accustomed to the feeling of doing nothing every day for a whole year, they lose momentum and may not be willing to go back to school. My plans after the trip is to God willingly enroll into the best medical school that I can get into and study medicine and go on to specialize as a physician. 
I prefer universities to Technicons as Technicons don't offer the course that I would like to study. My thoughts on a gap year versus further studies directly after matric is quite simple. I don't believe that a gap year is the best option because even this few months without school has gotten me out of the school and learning mode. What about the year? A gap year is unpredictable because a lot of things happen and change during that year. Sometimes students take a gap year to work and then they find themselves not even studying after that year. So I think studying after matric is the best option. My plans after matric is still a bit obscure regarding what I want to study because there is like so many options. And I obviously want to study something that I'm passionate about. So I still have a lot of thinking and hard work to do. Varsity versus tech. I would preferably want to go to varsity to go study, um, to go into the science field, but I enjoy my um, technical subject, which is electrical as well. So I'm kind of both sided. And that's it up guys. Let's hope all our dreams, plans and aspirations for the future comes true. And for those of you not having a plan yet, hang in there. At the end of the day, everything works out the way it should. Tune in again next week for our new hearty podcast. Bye.